The Brooklyn Nets have ruled out Ben Simmons for the remainder of the season amid the guard, the big, the forward. Ben Simmons dealing with a nerve impigment in his back. Coach Jacques Vaughn, the KU alumni, said Tuesday. Simmons is beginning a rehab program on his back and is expected to make a full recovery, according to Jacques Vaughn. Brooklyn announced four days ago Ben Simmons' nerve impigment and did not provide a timeline for his recovery, only saying that he will remain out of action while they determine the best long-term course of treatment. Ben Simmons, 26 years old, hasn't played since the All-Star break ended because knee soreness, which he's combated all year. Now, Ben Simmons is a talented player for the Brooklyn Nets, and he's been hampered by a back injury that has limited his performance on the court. Let's examine how this injury could be impacting his game and what he needs to do to recover properly and why he has the potential to regain his all NBA form if he's able to return to full health. All right. And look, NBA players back history, you know, injury is like extensive. I talked about Dwight Howard, how, you know, he had really bad back injury. And he barely played for the Wizards. Came back, won a championship, and extended his career like three, four years. Look at Brooke Lopez. Missed all of last year. Now, basically having the best year of his career. First, let's consider how the back injury could be limiting on the court. The back is a critical area for any athlete. And an injury to this region can have significant impact on a player's performance. For Simmons, his back injury could be affecting his ability to move freely and generate power, which are critical elements of his game. Ben Simmons is known for his quickness and his athleticism. He relies on these treat, treat, like traits to create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. However, if his back is stiff or painful, he may not be able to move as quickly or generate as much power as he normally would. This could make it more difficult for him to drive to the basket, create separation from defenders, finish at the rim, or even set up opportunities for his teammates. Additionally, Simmons' back injury could be affecting you know, his morale, his emotions, his his confidence in himself, okay? And just, or even his defense, which requires a stable base and good posture, both of which could be compromised if he's experienced back pain or stiffness. This could make it more difficult for him to just do anything basic, on, fundamental on a basketball court. Now let's consider what Simmons need to do to recover properly. Obviously he's seeking medical care. That's the right thing. Diagnosing the injury, which they did, and now creating a comprehensive treatment plan, which they did. And this plan, Obviously, it's probably going to include some sort of physical therapy, massage, chiropractic care, or other interventions that could help reduce the pain and inflammation and restore his back to normal function. In addition to seeking out medical care, Simmons also needs to be patient with his recovery. We need to be patient with his recovery as fans. Back injuries can be stubborn, may take time to fully heal. Rushing back to the court before he's fully recovery could risk re-injury or further exacerbate or further exacerbation of his current condition. Simmons should work closely with his healthcare team to establish a safe and effective timeline for returning to basketball activities. Finally, let's consider why Simmons has the potential to regain his all NBA form if he's able to return to full health. Ben Simmons is a uniquely talented player who possesses a rare combination of size, athleticism, and court vision. When he is healthy and playing at his best, he has shown he is one of the league's most dominant players without a three-point shot. 16, 8, and 8 with like a block and a half and a steal and a half a game. If he is able to recover, he will be able to drive to the basket with confidence, create scoring opportunities for his teammates, shut down the best opposing players on the defensive end of the court on any given night. Additionally, if Simmons can somehow improve his shooting, he'll probably be one of the most dangerous offensive threats besides Nikola Jokic because we all know shooting is an area where Simmons has struggled in the past but maybe with proper coaching and practice he has the potential to become a much more effective scorer from the perimeter in conclusion Ben Simmons back injury could be limiting his performance on the court right now but with this right treatment pr program patience hard work he has the potential to regain that all NBA form now hopefully by working closely with the Nets healthcare team focusing on his recovery Simmons can return to the court as one of the league's most dominant players and help the Brooklyn Nets to success I want to hear your thoughts down below I love every single one of you if you guys did watch this video let me hear your thoughts down below if you liked it if you liked it but yeah no, that's where we at
I, I do think it's something interesting because like dude let's let's be honest were we expecting this no but is this maybe something that's happening yeah and let's just that's life man life it's not perfect it's not candy and roses sometimes and sometimes when life's a bitch and hence and does bitch things just gotta roll with the punches i love every single one of you bye